Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron Force, South Africa, or rather Cape Commune, 17th of October, 1938, and we are now preparing for the invasion into Portugal. I do hope that we are ready. So, the tank divisions are going to take a little while longer, but that's okay. We can at least get the front line set up. Now, I am concerned that the English might join. My hope is that they won't. <laughs> we can hope. So, we're obviously going to have our really good general, and also our less than good general. Uh, we have General Edwin Blank, and we have a lovely field marshal. So we're going to get a new commander. And he is Cavalry Leader Experience Factor and Division Recovery Rate. No, that's that's terrible. Stop that. And Reckless. Chance to get wounded, but planning speed bonus. Fine. Sure. Why bloody not? We're going to give them to the correct field marshal. Good. Good. Okay. So, these guys are going to be on the wider front. So let's put them on the wider front, shall we? going to be careful about this we're going to be we, i mean i'm going to be doing this manually but i just want them to get the planning bonus you know so i do have a fear that you know bad stuff will happen we'll see we will see divisions are training divisions are almost there uh this is going to be finished in six in two months so i will actually have tanks ready to deploy that'll be excellent and a couple more that way. Good stuff. Okay. That is how you do it, guys. We have equipment for days. We've got support equipment. All right. Now, what I would love to do is add engineer company to this. Unfortunately, I do not have enough supply. Actually, I'm only just slightly short on supply. So, let's actually... I've got a lot of infantry equipment right now. I'm making 20 a day. In 100 days, I'll have an extra 2,000. But I'm going to be use, losing quite a lot, so I'm going to keep trying to produce them. I want to keep making tanks as well, because I'm obviously going to need a lot of tanks. We'll take one off of our, our light tanks and make support. And there's our tanks, ladies and gentlemen. Let's train these guys up. Uh, we do have at least a few days, so we can probably train these guys pretty quickly. Unfortunately, it's going to take 100 days to get them to the experience factor that I want. Pax Americana has been declared. That's good. We want to, we need to do this before, well, before the Portugal can join the Allies. So we need to be quick about this. If we can, you know, if we can do it quick, that's fine. Be okay. I'm nervous. Okay, I think the tank should join now. That's enough training. All right, one tank on that front. The other two tanks on this front. Let's go. They're the only ones who don't have the correct experience level, but that's all right. Doesn't look like Portugal's prepared. It really does not look like they're prepared. Oh, I'm excited, guys. We're going to finally do this. We're going to push into Portugal, sweep up through the right sides, and then we're going to prepare to attack England. Though I think it might be a little bit better to wait until Germany kicks off in about six months. In fact, they've just gone fate of Czechoslovakia, uh, and then they can go down with Danzig for Slovakia or Danzig or war or whatever. And then maybe we can pounce on them when the English forces are further occupied. That could be good. I don't really want to draw the ire of the UK, because then I'm going to have to battle all the way up through Africa. That'd be quite unpleasant. I'd rather wait until the UK is is further preoccupied, you know? Right, liberate Portuguese colonies. Uh, does that CB expire? It does, but in two bloody years. So that's fine. Let's, let's get ready to attack uh, England as well. So liberate British colonies. Okay, here we go. This is going to draw the ire of the British a little bit. That's all right. Hopefully, we will not draw their attention too much. I'm going to save a backup save, just in case it all goes tits up. Let's do this thing. I think we're ready. Everyone's got planning bonus. We can do this. And it hasn't... Oh, this is good. Okay. So, obviously... Can you get past there? You guys all go there. Okay, I'll need half the divisions that way, half the divisions that way, three that way, two that way, one tank that way. We're going to put you guys on aggressive plans the whole time. Let's go. Let's see what happens, lads. 
Okay, so already we are winning. Yeah, no, already this is a victory. This is already a victory. They, they cannot deal with it. The thing is, if we're able to take the ports really quick, they can't really do much. Is there any resources in it? Problem is, there's not very good resources in this area. It's Millennium Dawn. It's Millennium Dawn that adds the really nice resources. Oh damn! Ah, oh, factories. We gotta go over there and wipe out the ports before they replenish. This is the key. So we've lost two thousand men. It's fine. Good. Fly is obviously going down, but we can handle that. We're handling that very well. So I can already liberate Angola and Mozambique. We're obviously not going to do that, though, because we need to form this nation. Motorized. Love it. Love it. Let's now start grabbing factory outputs. We also now have extra factories, which is amazing. Unfortunately, our war support is uh, particularly terrible. We also actually cannot go into, um, yeah, no, we actually are not allowed to go into war economy because we'll then immediately lose it. So we need to be careful. But no, look at this. They're done. We got them. The fair check of Slovakia. That's it. Portugal's done. Okay, slow down, guys. Slow down. Looks like they're trying to retreat. That's it. There we go. Unfortunately, we have lost a lot of manpower. Um, so, Bilukulistan and Rhodesia. We just need that little territory there. It's going to be good, guys. This is going to be good. Be really good. Oh, and then we're gonna get instant cores on them. Okay. Uh, screw better infantry equipment. Let's get no, 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 no. Let's no, yeah. Let's let's get better infantry equipment. This is good. Uh, we haven't really gained any factories. Get like one sieve. You know, there's not really a lot here. That's okay. We do have a uh, reinforcement, right? Shit, we don't. Okay, that's bad. Screw better guns then. I need reinforce rate. Reinforce rate is like the most important freaking tech for combat. Um, and I'm thinking maybe we should start to go to extensive... Con oh, we can't. We need more than 20% war support. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Because I'm in an offensive war. Shite. Oh, good guys. I right, just try to try to play it, try to prepare. There we go. Stuff. Liberate the British colonies. That's good. Get more research, or we could get Belgian. The Belgian. No, we're not going to do Belgian just yet. Let's get War Measures Act to get 120 political power. Really do need some mm, support. I go down this tree, I believe there are some routes. Okay, so we've just got that. We've just beaten these guys. This is good. Um, let's just prepare here. These guys are going to be kind of like the major push. There we are. And these guys are going to need to be to the north once you're taking this chunk of territory. Right, there's no need for that now, is there? Good, good, good. We're going to move as many of them as possible over here, because this is actually the river thing we need. Because we need to somehow try and cross this river. 
We could now declare war onto the UK as soon as we want to. The thing is, is that we can encircle these guys essentially instantly. If we're fast. Problem is our manpower is so low right now. It's just so low. I think we actually just need to do this. I think we actually just need to try and take uh, the UK. I really, really wanted to wait. But I don't think this is an option anymore because I need to get core states here. Like, I desperately need the core states. So, yeah, we're going to have to just declare war. But we're going to have to wait a little bit, actually, because I need my troops to be there first. Please hurry up. Get over there. Go! Oh, wow. So we're, we're literally never going to break that river. This is the problem. Okay, so we're going to need three divisions. And they're going to need to hold th these three lines. And their job is to stand here. We'll give them a new commander. Not that shit one. There we go. Okay, and these guys' job now... Let's get these guys here faster, please. Hurry up. Ah, oh, man, I really didn't want to have to kick this off so soon, but here we are. Okay, and these three guys, these 12 guys' job. Your job's going to be to go right here, which is as far as possible. What's wrong here? Bro? What's wrong? I'm telling you to do this. Yes. Okay, delete that line. There you go. Very easy stuff. We're going to go here. What is the issue? Oh, they don't have the bloody... There you go. Jesus, I hate you, AI. There we are. The goal is to take that as quick as possible. How many provinces does this need to hold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We actually need 14 divisions to hold this. I'll put two of them there. Good man. All right, we're going to have to do this now, then. The divisions are ready. Ah, Jesus. Let's go. We need the core states, man. We need the core states. Ah, I need that core stuff, man. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it in my life. Okay, let's try something sneaky here. Get over there, man. Get over there. How long until they get over there? 15 hours. No. What are you doing? Stop that. Don't reposition. I didn't tell you to. Wait, did they just leave the border? Okay. Okay. Sure. Go. Okay. We're gonna do the sneaky like. You hear me, lads? What the fuck is going on? I don't even care. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna do it real sneaky like. Everybody here is gonna do their jobs. We're all gonna sit quietly and win the day forever. For God's sakes, please. What is this? These divisions are just repositioned like crazy. What are you doing? Go, 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 go. Okay, it looks like they've moved around a little bit. Is it? Is this what we can do? Are we going to do it? How long? Six days. Six days. Six days. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. Portugal has now joined the Allies. Which means they're going to reposition pretty heavily. Shit, don't, don't, don't let them get their supply back. Ah, damn it. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't be like that, don't be like that. Set a tank there, set a tank there. Come on, we can cut this guy off. Turn right, cleanse memo. That's it, come on, that's it, that's it. You go this way. Yeah, go, 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 go. 
Uh, fuck it. Just engage. Go. We can, if we can cut this entire section off, we can win so much glory. So much. How long until these guys get there? Ten hours! Stop them. Go on. That's it. Yes! Yes! Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it, that's it, that's it. Grand Assault. Okay, here we go. Uh, infantry Offensive. I'm gonna go Infiltration because I like the 10, minus 10% 10 Supply Consumption. I like the Land Nine Attack bonus. The Assault's nice too. That's it, that's it. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Uh, we can go Extensive Conscription now because we have enough War Stability. I don't know why, but it would appear that there's a little bit of a bug that when they join, the, if you are declared an offensive war on, on one nation and then declare another offensive war on another nation and then they join the same faction, it counts both as being an offensive war and a defensive war. So I lose 20 and then gain 30. So that's enough to go to extensive so I can then get more manpower. We need to take all of Rhodesia if we want to win this. Every ounce of Rhodesia needs to be taken. Come on, guys. Where the fuck do you think you're going? It's in the weakest over there. There you go. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Rhodesia is in my grasp. Wait for the rest to get there. That's it. I believe in miracles. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, have they surrendered this port? They surrendered it. Go, 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 go. That's it, that's it. Go on. You can do this. That's it. And put pressure on that little state there. See if we can get open up the width. We can open up the combat width. We're going to be fine. Okay, no, stay there. Stop that. We're just going to lead these front lines. Because they're stupid. We don't like front lines. We hate stupid front lines. They're stupid and I hate them. We've got, a, we've got some encirclements. We've got encirclements. Yes. We're going to delete these ones as well. Because the AI will try to awkwardly reposition them like a freaking moron. Oh, come on. Kill him. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, we're so close. Oh, we can do it. What? Did I take Rhodesia? Where's the capital? What? Oh, it was here. It's Rhodesia. I got it. Okay, we just did our, we just did our first goal, ladies and gentlemen. Recreate the Zimbabwe Empire. Having read the southern parts of the continent from colonial influences, it's time to rally the people and the concept of a powerful empire from our past. Multiple, multiple exist in this region. We need only a name to serve as a symbol. Okay, boom, the Zimbabwean Empire. Yes, Mutapa Socialite. That's not right. That's not what it should be called. The rise of the Mutapa Socialist State as the South African nation grows into its neighbors. Government attempts to creating historical communities become more and more apparent, evidently in an attempt to unify the people. The achievements of the Great Zimbabwean Empire have been strongly romanticized, but incessant propaganda seems to have an effect on public opinion. Today, the South African government has taken one step further and renamed the country the Mutapa Socialist State, an announcement that was greeted by exuberant crowds in the streets of major cities. Fine. Okay, this looks really ugly. Uh, it looks like I forgot to put Engineer Company here. That's not good. Let's try and train a couple extra divisions. And let's also try and chuck as much infantry equipment as possible. Like, we do not need this much stuff, man. And let's try and get some steel from the U.S. Let's go! Show them who's boss! We the boss. We are the boss, guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that core pop. Oh, isn't it lovely? And now we will fight for a thousand years. We're going to wait for Germany to declare war on Belgium before we take Belgium. And now we're just going to push up the UK front. We are going to need to get some troops to hold the, the ports, however. Do not want to suffer horrendous naval invasions. Oh, can I help you? 
you appear to be trying to take my shit. Get over there and take them. Ah, oh, we did it. South Africa. Core states and everything. So we could actually liberate things right now, but we're obviously not going to do that. I have no desire to liberate them. But wow, look at this. Uh, looks like we're going to need to wait just a touch. Wait, are they all going there? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you really all going to do that? You all going to go over here? Please, do it. Oh man, seriously? Are they seriously going to abandon the position entirely? They did, they abandoned it. Okay. Good job, AI. Proud of you. Proud of you. Just so proud of you. Oh. War Minister Act. Emergency workers. Let's go. Build extra factories. We didn't really, haven't really gained extra factories in this, but that's okay. Jesus, the AI is stupid. Go, 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 go. Take any territory you can here, lads. Let's go. We got Portugal as well. Okay, so we just assign these guys to the correct front. These four over here onto the Portuguese front. Damn, I wanted to take them. This is fine. We go. Can we just kill these guys first, please? Yes? Good. Are you seriously just gonna let us kill them? I can't believe they're just gonna let me do this. Ah, they stopped me in time. Man. Yeah, they got some divisions. But that's okay. We've taken what matters. We've managed to held the line. Super good, guys. Super good. Alright, that's gonna be it for this episode. We've managed to basically form our goal of... Look at that weird flag, though. That is a weird-ass flag. Alright, we've done really, really well. Um, next up, we're gonna keep trying to push up through Africa. Maybe declare war on Belgium and Blitzkrieg then when we get the chance. And then use that to push into France. I mean, I want to rather wait for France to uh, die first in the war, so we'll probably wait for that as well. We don't really want to be joining in on that. We're probably going to have to drop some defensive terrain, hopefully get to here maybe, and drop some really spicy defensive lands uh, before we get annihilated. So do be sure to leave a like and a comment in the video, guys. Let me know what you think of this series so far. I was Aldrin Luck and to be. This has been some beautiful Hearts of Iron 4 African Union. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.